Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Chaos Space Marines Noctilith Crown. It's right here in this box. It is £30. I did hold off getting this and the Chaos Space Marine Terminators because I wanted to focus on getting Abaddon and the Havocs and the Lord Discordant and the Dark Apostles and you know all the other models basically So I finally got my hands on this and um, one of these will cost you 30 pounds It's a fair bit of money considering it is made in China So I'll just penetrate this I'll penetrate the crown unwrap all of this off I don't know whether Games Workshop learned from the Gene Stealer Cult Tectonic Frag Drill, which was £35, which I thought was quite a lot of money. But pricing this at £30, I, th I think any kind of scenery piece, if they price it at £25 to £30, that's fine. I mean, the Mech Boy Workshop was brilliant for £25. Yes, it's not huge or anything like that, but still. I think if Games Workshop continue to do this and release uh, kind of like... Um, faction specific scenery pieces like they did with the Eldari Webway Gate, like they've done with the Imperial Knight Sir Kristen Forge Shrine, like they've done with the Frag Drill and like this and the Orc Boy Workshop. If they continue to do that, but between 25 and 30, 30 pounds, then that would be great. Um, but I think 35 would have been too much, especially for this. Now, what differs from this to the frag drill is that this actually has wounds and you can destroy it. It has a save of three plus. Chaos units have an in five plus and vulnerable save while they're wholly within six inches of this model. I would say that that includes itself because it is does have the chaos keyword and it is clearly within six inches of its own self. So I would say it's got an invulnerable save, but still, many people might disagree with that. Either way, let's have a look. Um, looks absolutely fantastic. Um, bigger than I thought it would be. Um, I thought it looked quite small from some of the pictures on the web, web store. Let's have a look here. You see it says designed in UK, manufactured in China, distributed by Games Workshop Nottingham. That's what they do with all of their books, like all the codexes are made by, I think, CNC in China, um, and all of the scenery pieces, all made in China, all made with the kind of cheaper, I wanna say less quality. In my opinion, it is less quality. I've built enough of these kits um, to tell the difference. Um, there are more mold lines. Um, the plastic is harder and slightly darker, and I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, luckily though, they still make all of their other, um, you know, actual miniatures um, in the UK with the lighter, easier to work with kind of plastic. Anyway, it says rules are included. Let's have a look. So I think you're getting to get two sprues. Yeah, wow. They managed to fit it on two sprues for £30. This is uh, top, top profit right here. Um, are they both exactly the same sprue? Is it just, whoa, no way. That is even more profit. That is amazing. They are printing money at this point. Let me tell you, um, although it's 30 pounds, which you would normally say is 15 pound per sprue, you can't really say it's 15 pound per sprue here because it is just one sprue duplicated. So you can actually say it's 30 pounds. Wow. For, uh, for one printout. Very thick, as you can see, mold lines in there. Um, fair few mold lines there, you can just feel them. But it's heavy, it's a heavy one. Shouldn't take too long for me to build this. I'll be able to get a review out for you with the rules and things quite quickly. Um, let's have a look at the instruction guide, which again, isn't the same kind of quality, nowhere near as your normal, um, you know, instruction guide that you get from uh, UK. Look, you get it all colored, um, contact points, glue points, um, different parts. Uh, it's just a, on a different level compared to these black and white ones. Um, but there you go, look. It's just got arrows to go to places. I mean, it shouldn't take too long at all. Very quick and easy. Put a load of chains on there and you're sorted. You've got some rules as well. PowerPoint's cost of a five. You know, it's got the, the loathsome aura. This is one of the reasons why you take it is because um, it affects enemy psychers. You've got five plus and vulnerable save and it helps your psychers um, too. It can't move. 
and it can explode as well because um, it's got the unstable energies. Uh, it does have flashing warp energies, but pretty pointless really, you know, um, unless you want to attack this thing in close combat, which might work, uh, but it does have a toughness eight at the end of the day and a save of three plus. But yeah, quite straightforward to build, put together. The hardest bit about this is building up the muscle power to clip it off the sprue. <laughs> no, the hardest bit about this is to clean up uh, all of the mold lines before you glue it together. And as you can see there, there are some horrific ones in those gaps. Good luck. Um, that's all I wanna to say to you guys, because not only are the mold lines there, there'll be mold, there's mold lines on this, these bits too especially in that bit, that's going to be an absolute pain to get to get rid of. Um, you know, and then there's mold lines on the inside too. So mold lines all the way around there, all the way in there on both sides, and then all the way on the outside. That's where most of your time will be spent um, cleaning them up because you don't want them to be seen on your, you know, chaos uh, stargate, <laughs> basically. Um, anyway, that's that sprue. The other sprue is exactly the same as you can see, but it's heavy, it's solid, feels pretty good, but yeah, as you can see, it's the uh, darker, less quality plastic. Look, you can even see it there quite easily next to these Chaos Space Marine Terminators. Um, just no comparison, really. But if it gets the job done, you know, and it's a bit of scenery, you're not gonna be looking at the detail as much. That's my unboxing and first look at the Noctilith Crown. Everything I expected. I don't know why I expected two different sprues when it is a circle, but ah well. Um, so yeah, it is one sprue just replicated. Quite pricey for £30. And yeah, that's £5 more than the Mechboy Workshop. Mechboy Workshop had quite a number of sprues and loads of different parts, lots more detail too. Um, if you were going for one or the other, well, it depends if you've got a Chaos Army or an Orc Army. Pick the Mechboy Workshop, uh, definitely in my opinion. Although it'll take you longer, it'll be more fun and uh, a lot more variety uh, too. Anyway, what do you guys think? Put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching Death to the False Emperor.